Look, um, let me hit this as an economist. Ignore for a moment the 3,000 recordings. <laughs> I really can't listen to 3,000 recordings, can you? <laughs> Be an economist about it. 80% of the benefit for 20% of the effort. I think I can say 99% of the benefit for 1% of the effort. That's how God's made it for us, because we're children and he brings it into feasibility for us. Not just him. It's no good seeing Jesus as God incarnate. Of course he can do it, but what about me? I'm not God incarnate, am I? Do you see? <laughs> it's a non-starter. It's a tragedy. 2,000-year-old tragedy. Misunderstanding. But to the point, practice thanking God for everything, not just the good. You'd have difficulty doing this, so practice with the small things that are bad as well. Miss the bus, it rained. Uh, can't meet such and such an appointment, I'm late. Um, I'm ill, so I can't do what I was going to do. What a disappointment. No, no, no. Thank you, God. I'm going to trust you. Thank you, Dad. This person's about to die. Thank you, Dad. I'm going to trust you. I could get killed in this situation. Thank you, Dad. I trust you. It's a, it's a complete surrender. It's not a surrender that doesn't do what is obvious that I should do. You know, if I want to pass an exam, how about revising for it? I mean, it's a good idea, isn't it? <laughs> it's not to do nothing. But it is to thank God for it. And there's a chap I've mentioned before, Merlin R. Carruthers, American ex-chaplain, Methodist chaplain in the army. Prison to Praise was his book, Prison to Praise. Other books too, but that's what counted. And it simply says, he's an all-powerful God and he loves me, so I thank him for this difficulty. But not just the difficulties, for goodness sake. Every blessing as well, whatsoever is good and lovely, think on these things and give thanks. Giving thanks ascribes to God, fills you with gratitude. You want, you want God to exist with all your heart because you're filled with gratitude and the assurance of how much God has blessed you to this age. Stop talking, Marshall. You're an economist. There's no need for all this chat. <laughs> I enjoy it, Lord. <laughs> yeah. But make sure they know the essence of things. Incredible miracles in people's lives as a consequence of this simple practice. Did he have the right theology? No. Did he have the right religion? <laughs> Not really, no. <laughs> Did he bless people unbelievably and imaginably, unimaginably? By yes. Astonishing miracles came pouring in letters to him, mountains of letters, of people who had been rescued by this practice of thankfulness in all circumstances. Confronted with a difficulty, not crying their eyes out to God at all, but thank you, Lord. What my friend last night would have said was grace, your grace, Lord, giving me this lesson, this difficulty. 
Love you, Dad. Thank you, Dad. Do you see you build such a relationship of trust? He has it already. You need to enter into it, you see. Practice thankfulness in all circumstances. As I say in the beginning, you practice thanking him for all the good and a few of the minor difficulties. You start to realize you can extend your borders and thank him for more and more difficulties that come. Thank you, Heavenly Dad. Love you. Thank you specifically for this circumstance, this pain, this difficulty, this loss. I don't stop thanking you because of the difficulty. In fact, I increase it in fervor. Do you see you're asserting his reality above all things? Madness to the secular, except to those that have ears to hear. How wonderful. Thank you, Dad.